Hello friends, welcome to our channel Castor Classes and in my this video I am going to discuss how you can take floating point number as input from the user. So in my previous video I have discussed suppose I am taking one integer e equal to 15 and now we want to convert this integer to floating point number then we what, what we write e float of e if we run we will be getting 15.0 suppose I am storing that in a variable now if I write type of g we will be getting float right so using float we can convert from integer to float using the same we can convert a string to float also okay so like uh, if you remember our first video I told you whenever we use input method then it always takes a string suppose I am taking a equal to input okay now suppose uh, like uh, I want to take integer input what I have told you what is the method that is in input we have to write basically we are uh, type casting the string to integer right so now if you want to take float as input like here you have seen float is used to convert the integer to float similarly you can use float to convert string to a floating point number okay like here I am writing a equal to float of input so first we are taking input which is in string form string type which is of string type and then we are converting that to float so if we write type of a now let us check if I run suppose I am taking one floating point number okay randomly I am taking if I just click enter see I will be getting float okay so just you have to convert this string to a float okay that is type casting you have to do and like that you can take input from the user okay floating point number can be taken as input from the user that's what I want to discuss because many times in many programming question you may need to take floating point number as input so you should keep this concept in mind that we will simply type cast from string to float okay that's all so this is all for my this video thank you for watching